Hi, this is Getting Started with Python Web Scraping. This is a video course by me for Pact Publishing. My name is Charles Clayton. I'm a recent electrical engineering graduate working as an FPGA and ASIC consultant, and I'm a part-time full-stack developer. I love collecting and analyzing and visualizing data, as well as automating tasks, so web scraping's always been up my alley. And another hobby of mine is uploading YouTube tutorials and explanatory videos, which is how I got a job making this course. I have a tolerable voice and an excellent understanding of how to communicate and teach well, so I, I think you'll like the course. All right, so what do we do? This course basically does a thorough introduction into learning how to web scrape. But moreover, we learn how to web scrape well, which means that we don't gloss over the foundations. So we're first going to talk about how websites are built by the people who actually create them. And we're going to learn the efficient ways to identify the data we want to scrape. I promise you this is going to put everything in context and save you so much confusion in debugging down the road. We also look at a variety of different tools and Python modules that are available to us. We're not going to go overboard with that so much so that it's overwhelming, but that'll really help you figure out the right tool for the job. Then we're going to do more than a couple practical examples, with me working out how to scrape a website, like what to look for and how to debug and construct your queries. Then we're going to take a step back and talk about when not to web scrape, which seems counterintuitive, but we do that so we don't get stuck in this trap that when you're a hammer everything looks like a nail. This actually does make us better web scrapers and it means that we're not reinventing the wheel when there are alternative methods that are available to us. Okay, so prerequisites. I've worked hard to make this course accessible to people of different backgrounds, but first of all, you should have a pretty good grasp on programming. You don't have to be a rock star, but I assume you know what variables are, what methods are, what loops are, what exceptions are, and all that sort of stuff. It's better still if you have Python installed and you know how to use pip and everything. If you don't, but you're a pretty adept coder, you should be able to follow along and get the principles regardless, but I do suggest having Python experience. Web development experience is definitely not mandatory, but web developers and people with backgrounds in HTML and JavaScript and CSS, the first couple of videos are going to be old news to you, but you'll be really good at web scraping because you already have a lot of the foundations, and most of the Python code that we look at will be vaguely familiar to you. So that'll be extremely beneficial, but like I said, definitely not mandatory. So thanks for watching, and I hope you sign up for the course because it'll be fun and it'll be useful.